Hello, this is the TradeSite Forex Market Preview and International Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Sunday the 24th of December and ending Friday the 29th, 2017. This will wrap up the year. We're done after this point. Um, again, Monday will be Christmas Day, so banks around the world are closed. We'll look at that in a minute. So really, it's a short week, four-day week, and, and I don't expect much. Uh, we may or may not make calls and just rely on some of the uh, regular trading stuff that we do instead of the actual official calls just because just like we saw Friday, things are very limited uh, in this holiday environment. Here's a look at the e I'm sorry, the uh, dollar index daily chart. Not much to say, hasn't done anything uh, the last week for sure, but definitely not even for the last couple months. We're sitting right where we were at the end of July, so half the year gone by with almost nothing. Here's the euro dollar, which is the inverse of the dollar index for the most part. You can see the 13 sell signal back in the end of August, beginning of September was the high for the year. Pound dollar. Hasn't done anything either. It is forming a cup and handle, but not getting up there yet. Uh, Aussie dollar, you can see that 13 buy signal about uh, three weeks ago was right on the money. These things have just nailed it. The pound yen, cup and handle, the 13 sell signal in place. So we'll see. Euro yen, look how flat this is. The 13 sell signal is still in place. Look at the risk line on that 13 sell signal is the exact high on the daily chart. But the problem here is that since September, this thing's been in a 250, 300 pip range. It's just not tradable. Pound Swiss, <clears throat> not much here. New Zealand dollar, not much here. All right, so let's take a look at the intra-week action. 30-minute candles to see what we did for the week. High to low on the euro dollar, 160 pips. Uh, most of that was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you can see Thursday was horrible and Friday was horrible. Didn't even make calls for Friday because Thursday was so horrible. Meanwhile, the pound dollar, only 120 pips high to low for the week. So, again, we're in holiday environment. This is not... Uh, this is not really something where you're going to get an opportunity to make a lot of money. Let's take a look at the economic data that's coming out this week, starting with uh, the holidays all around the world, obviously, for Monday. And then Monday night, Japan's got their CPI, Tokyo CPI, household spending, unemployment rate, monetary policy meeting minutes from the last uh, Bank of Japan announcement and SPPI. Tuesday, still bank holidays for places like Switzerland, Germany, Italy, UK, and Canada, although the U.S. is back at it uh, with the S&P housing price index and the Richmond manufacturing index. And then nothing for over 24 hours around the globe until you get to Wednesday, uh, or almost, no, I'm sorry, it's uh, not quite 24 hours. It's more like, uh, yeah, sorry, it's 14 hours. But uh, housing starts out, Japan, UBS, consumption indicator out of Switzerland, Credit Suisse, economic expectations, high street lending out of the UK, and then Wednesday morning, consumer confidence here in the US along with pending home sales, Japan's Bank of Japan summary of opinions, preliminary industrial order of production, Retail sales and CPI out of Japan going into Thursday. Italian 10-year bond auction at some point Thursday. We've got the weekly unemployment claims and the goods trade balance and the preliminary wholesale inventories here in the U.S. and Chicago PMI, natty gas and crude oil both the same day because of the Monday holiday. Australia's got their private sector credit. Not that that's a big deal. Friday, German preliminary CPI, Spanish slash CPI, M3 money supply and private loans, China manufacturing PMI on Saturday. At 8 p.m. on Saturday? What is that? No idea. That wraps up the week. Uh, so, you know, there's not much here. The trade balance is the big number. We got the first couple days are basically a holiday. Uh, we'll get back to it. Actually, we'll fix the calls maybe Monday night, even though not all the world is open on Tuesday, even. Back to it Tuesday and Wednesday if we see anything. But again, if the, level, if the ranges are narrow, the levels are going to be horrible. There's not going to be much to work with. So have a great New Year's, a great Christmas holiday. Every, uh, whenever you celebrate, and we will see you in 2018. There will be no other market previews, obviously, between now and next weekend. Charts, as usual, brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks.